chase with us. Cloud chasing, come chase with us. Come chase with us. Come chase with us. Look, now my vape, my vape, she a monster. Blowing more clouds out her mouth than a roster. Your vape, your vape, she's an imposter. Hi guys, Polish Vapes UK back again and today we're going to be looking at this mod. I am indeed holding this mod guys and this is the NX Nano 18350 mechanical mod. Um, I'm not going to do a build on it guys, there is plenty of people if you want to go and see a build I will obviously explain and show how to build but I'm not going to take this build out and put a new one on there but it is a really nice little 18350 mod um, very good if you're out and you want to keep it hidden and uh, stealth vape it's uh, very easy dying guys So guys, let's uh, dive down close and we'll have a look at the NX Nano. Not going to get it from there, are we? So guys, this is the box that the NX comes in, nice little logo there, uh, by I believe that's Athera, nice little box, <coughs> obviously there is where your mod sits when you receive it, that's just some wire that I put in there. Um, and then what you get is these, you get two of these little, uh, I'm not sure what they're really called, uh, I will show you what they do, and then you get some of these little ceramic tubes, and you also do get a spare post pin, as a spare post as well which we will obviously look at when we go in and look at this mod. So, as obviously there's no battery near at the moment guys. Very seamless, you can't even see that seam there. Um, and you can, can't even see the one on the top. Um, like I said, this is an all-in-one uh, mechanical mod. Um, so you've got obviously your topper. Um, and if you want to have a look, have I got one spare? I don't think I can get that one out. Um, <coughs> well, there's the 18350. <coughs> this is actually smaller than an 18650 battery. Really nice. Um, so we'll start from the bottom. Now you can see that seam. We'll have a look at this little switch. You've got two little magnets on there that hold your battery. Uh, you've got their logo there on the bottom, and it's a quite a nice battery. It's just held in with magnets. I'm not going to take this apart because it is a bit of a pain, but a really nice, quite a nice little throw on that uh, firing switch. 
Uh, and then we get down to the actual tube. If I can find where the thread is, because you can't see it. Uh, threads are a bit scrunchy, but not bad at all. There obviously is your 18350 tube. Um, I have seen some places that sell this and you can actually buy an uh, 18650 tube as well which is pretty cool if you want to run it with a bigger battery but I just bought this for how small it was and for obviously doing a bit of stealth vaping and then here you have your I guess we 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 call it a RDA I guess um, I'm not sure what you'd really call this one. Um, that there, that pin is actually your uh, post pin that you put your build on. Uh, and then you've got two rings at the top as well before we jump in. You unscrew the top one. Which all that top one does <coughs> is hold this one in place, which is your airflow control. So you have, uh, put that down a you have there is your smallest air hole, then your second biggest, then your third biggest, and then obviously your your fourth, your biggest airflow. Um, and what you've got there is your airflow hole. So then all you do is when you find out exactly where you want it which I've usually been running it on the biggest you just line it up Let's see if I can get this guys line your airflow up move your air hole hold it into place and then just screw the other ring back in to hold that airflow in some people say they've had problems um, with the airflow ring moving out of place. I actually haven't had any problems. Um, cannot remove the Dalrin drip tip. Um, and you can't put anything else in there if you wanted to make it longer. So what we'll do next guys is we'll take a look at the inside. Try and find the thread on this. There it is. And there we go. Bit of juice in here, guys, so please just uh, not worry about that. Um, so, all you have is you have that pin that comes in through the bottom. Uh, you slide your ceramic uh, tube, I guess we'll call it onto the post and then you get your bit of campfire wire uh, post that little spring that I showed you earlier on one end and just bend the wire over it to keep it into place then all you do is you slot that down on the top uh, unscrew your post your uh, screw which is your negative I believe uh, and then you just wrap around the ceramic until you're pretty happy three, four, I've seen some people do five wraps and then obviously you wrap around underneath the screw and then just tighten it down and clip it so what I will do is I will chuck this back on the tube as I say these the threads are a bit scrunchy but when it is on, you cannot see that join, which is very nice. I absolutely love the look that this uh, gives off. I'm not sure how long this battery is going to last, guys. The 18350 is dying on me. <laughs> but we will take a look. Again, the bottom, there's a little bit of a seam, but you can only just about see it there guys and all you do is you're just pushing and that's burning off all you do is you drip through the top 
onto that little bit of ceramic and it heats away um, the only thing you can't obviously do with this guys is obviously you can see that little juice well that goes around it you couldn't uh, drip loads of juice onto this and then put it on its side or walk around with it and, uh, tipping it and stuff because all it's going to do is all the juice is going to tip out uh, from the drip tip so all you want to do is take a couple of drips and uh, what you do is uh, get my bottle thick uh, drop blur or bottle whatever you've got to hand one two three it's usually enough just a couple of drops even two and it's pretty ready to go um, this battery is dying on me so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a toot off it and getting a little one but yeah a pretty nice little tiny 18350 mechanical mod um, absolutely love the look of it when I see it and I thought I've got to get one of those and I thought I'd love to share it with you guys if you want something that you can obviously hide in your hand and you're out and you do a bit of stealth vaping it's nice and small to keep hidden and obviously even if you wanted to go out uh, you know clubbing or something like that and you wanted to just to slot this in your pocket and then obviously you can, I've not had no problems, it doesn't fire when you put it down flat. This is something nice and tiny that you can have in your pocket instead of carrying around something big. And you just take a bottle of e-juice and then just have a couple of drips when you need to have a nicotine fix. So that is the Annex Nano up close guys. Uh, we will dive back up top and we'll have a quick toot and have a chat so guys back up top with the annex um, this battery is dying on me I can get a little bit of a vape from it but not as good as it usually is yeah that battery is definitely dying it actually doesn't produce too much of a bad vapor reduction um, when I've got a battery that is charged um, <clears throat> I wasn't ready for this I wasn't sure what I was gonna uh, review today <laughs> and I should have uh, double checked my battery life um, before that battery is dead guys oh, guys I'm not sure how long this one this battery is going to last but we'll have a quick two not a bad little vapor reduction from an 18350 um, like I said I've been enjoying it and it is nice and little just to hide when you're out and about it does fit in your hand pretty nice like I said it is smaller than an 18650 um, so it is a pretty short little mechanical mod but not bad flavor is okay and like I said the vapor reduction isn't going to be great but it does for when you need something little and handy to take out with you so other than that guys Polish Vapes UK out and remember guys stay safe and keep on vaping